and welcome back to more of Martian Gothic. Last time we were in Geolab. About to listen to four reports by Judith Haraway. Let's go! December the 4th, 2017. Operation Akarak proceeding on schedule. Terence Whitaker died yesterday. Cause of death undetermined. Following the new directives, he'll be buried here on Mars. Unrequested shipment of weapons and ammunition received. Just what are we supposed to do with guns on a Martian base? Shoot each other? End report. Yeah, that's a little more info on Whitaker, and, uh... Someone asked a question about why guns are on the base. I, I was, you know, wondering that myself. Thank you, music. Okay, let's, let's do five. February the 18th, 2018. I went out into the graveyard this morning. The grave of Terence Whitaker had been opened up. The coffin was shattered to pieces. I didn't see Whitaker's corpse, but there were the prints of bare feet in the soil. Request immediate and total evacuation of Vita Base. Fancy a holiday on Mars, Allenby? End report. Yeah, bare feet on Martian soil would freak me out too, you know. Since you're supposed to die in that atmosphere, what, you know, what a, what a journal. December the 24th, 2017. It's been a real Christmas Eve night. No Christmas Eve is complete without a ghost story. I was walking down Baker Street when I heard footfalls following. I turned round and there was no one there. It's such a cliché, I feel embarrassed mentioning it even to myself. I mean, what am I saying? That I'm being followed by a ghost? Yes. Yes, maybe that is what I'm saying. Martian ghosts. Ghosts from when evolution on Earth had progressed no further than the trilobites. Merry Christmas, Judith. No Happy New Year. I, 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 I don't know what to say to that. Journal Entry 4. It's March the 17th, 2018. Outside, the air temperature is minus 45 degrees Celsius and falling. Nadja mentioned that some terrestrial organisms can only exist below freezing point. I keep thinking about that. I dreamt about my son last night. I dreamt he was still alive, but blue with winter and calling to me from the surface of red, cold Mars. I can still feel that alien presence emanating from down there in the necropolis. Time and memories resonating in the stone. The tick of the clock in the rock. The final countdown. What is Haraway? Project director. I've heard her voice before. But where? But where indeed? Maybe it'll all make sense in a little while. Are you going to get up again? Please say you're not going to get up again. I've, I've... It must have been four or five times last video. That was enough. Seriously. Okay. I am going to place this remote in there. And, uh... Let's see. Do I need to do anything else? No? No? No, I don't think so. I don't think we need that book anymore. So I'm going to send this up. I'm going to place this book. Yeah, I'm not going to take the book back. That would be stupid. And I'm going to place this mic recorder in there. And we are going to get the fuck out of here. Because I knew that was going to happen. When does that not happen when you are in Geolab? That, that has to be the biggest annoying bitch I've ever seen. I mean, you saw that. Span of 15 minutes, she gets up I don't know how many times. That was ridiculous. If you don't know what you're doing in there, you're going to be freaking out all goddamn day. And it is, it, there's, that's no way to go through a game. That's not. That was not funny. So anyway, I'm going to place this brown herb in here. And later I'm going to turn it into more health boosts. Because I love health boosts. Health boosts give me the energy and nutrition I need to go on. Who are we going to play as right now? We're going to play as Kinzo. With the Sayonara. Oh yes. 
I'm going to save. Actually, before we do anything else, let's talk to Mood. Does she have anything else to talk about? Let's see. Extrude, finally. What are those crab-like creatures scuttling about the place? Ah, yes. The extrudes. Trimorphs give birth to them in warm, well-oxygenated conditions. Pesky little beggars, aren't they? What can we do against them? Take aim. Try not to miss. Actually, it was pointed out to me that the nail gun is real good on extrudes because that actually... When they're nailed down, you can kick them and it's an instant kill. I, I, I might have to show that off. Martin Karn. What do you know about Martin Karn? I know that he's one of your fellow members on the Enigma mission. Before his young son was killed, he was involved in covert operations for Earth Control. It's reported that he killed nine men. At the time, he was very close to Allenby. Now, officially, Khan has returned to his original vocation as a mining engineer. By the way, this is the first time he has volunteered for any mission. Curious, don't you think? Could you tell me more about Karn? Karn is not all he seems to be. So Karn has a reason for wanting to be on the base. That's kind of odd. What could that mean? What does it even mean? I don't know. The Necropolis, yes. The Necropolis? What is that? It's Greek, the city of the dead. Yes, I'm aware of that. I'm talking about the Necropolis under Vita base. Well, it's not a very nice place. Not very nice at all. Now, what was that spitting dream I was having when you so rudely interrupted? Okay, okay. Go to sleep again. See, anything else? Anything else at all? Anything, anything? I guess not. Okay, as much as I like the Sayonara, I need something that's going to be able to shoot just a little bit faster, so we're going to equip the Dillinger. Plenty of time for the Sayonara later. Because we're going to go to my lens quarters now. But first we've got to do a little detour, and I saw that non-dead moving right there. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way. Get it. Just stand there. I, I don't care. You know, it's fine. That was odd, but that was fine. That was fine because I didn't get bit. And that was amazing, really. Now, we're going to go in here first because I need to get to a back tube. And of course, you know, I haven't seen this chick in a while. How you doing? I remember you from the beginning of the game. Remember this gun? Of course not, because I didn't have it back then. Pretty brutal, isn't it? It, it packs a punch. I, I know you love it. Alright. I'm going to take that tag. I'm going to take that remote. And I still have this stupid fucking... The Halbalus ammo. I, he does not need that. And... Let me get the hell out of here. I'm going to send that up. And we're going to get out of here. Now this game loves to uh, give you extra tags in case you mess up. Case in point, this green tag I've been carrying around for forever. Basically, that area where Karn was when he got the pop gun, that one dead body that pops right up after you pull the green tag off of him. Could have totally avoided that and made, left that place a safe room, but no. I forgot. And when you take that tag, you basically, yeah, you basically fuck yourself. So I'm just going to dump that tag, and I'm going to dump that stupid note there. Also, I need to take the checker out of this. I need to actually use the checker on the baby bug, instead of putting it in the baby bug. I made that mistake before, and I'm, I'm glad I finally remembered to correct that. Alright. What a coincidence! I have a white tag! I, I'm so glad I have the white tag. Mylan's quarters. And what do we got in here? We have got Diabolus. Oh okay, that's that's awesome. Let's check this out. 
Karn would love to have this. And he's going to get it in the next video, I'm pretty sure. And let's see, another vent. But I don't have the screwdriver. That's because Matlock is going to have to come here because she's the only one that can fit in there. The one just outside, remember, it had heavy breathing. And what's this? Spirit is fireplace. Cool. It's cool. Awesome. By the way, this giant jar back here. You need to open it and take this needle and thread. Because if you don't, you will be kicking yourself in the ass later. I know. How are you supposed to know? Anyway, this is the Spirit's Fireplace. We got a remote for it. Why do you need a remote for a fireplace? Next time on Martian Gothic, we find out. See you then.